What's good, YouTube? It's Chuka the Barber. I'm here with another video. We're at the Rich Barber Hair Studio in West Hollywood. I got my client in the chair. We're gonna hook him up with a skin fade. Uh, but before we get started, I'm a shampoo and conditioner here with the Pro Rich Men Shampoo and Conditioner. That we're gonna make sure we remove any excess uh, product that he may have in his hair and just get the hair and the scalp cleansed so we can have a easy flow throughout the cut. This product has innovative ingredients that helps kill the scalp and promote healthy hair growth. So I always like to give my clients this treatment prior to cutting them. Uh, smells great, they always love it. So uh, that's what we do in here. Dry them off. Now we're gonna get started with the fade. So I'm gonna create my first initial guideline. The trimmers I'm using are the wall cordless detailers. I got a modified blade on them. I really like these trimmers and especially when I can just take my time with a cut, these are perfect. I'm gonna keep the guideline pretty low. He's gonna end up with more of a high mid fade, but I like to give myself plenty of space to really get that initial bottom blend like really, really tight so that the fades uh, really pop out. So I think that's very important. Now you can see I started the guideline in the front right around where the C cup would start because we're not having a C cup. So I removed all that area and then uh, didn't really drop it too much in the back. Cause like I said, we're gonna go kind of high mid with the fade. So right now I have the wall legends and I have a one eighth guard on lever all the way open. And I always start with the lever open first to, and start trimming the hair that way. You know, I gradually trim the hair and I don't do it all too much because I don't want to have pockets in the, the actual waves. Gradually laying it down, but I'll eventually close the guard all the way and hit him with that length. Make sure to always follow, of course, the pattern of the hair. You wanna go with the grain. So you wanna make sure you trim that area so you got control over it and that it maintains the lineup that you put in. Again, starting with the corners, I always like to start and then matching the other side up. So always start off with the highest side because the highest side is gonna be the one that you're gonna have to match up to anyway, right? So if you start on the lower side where the, hair, the lower the hair grows and then you go to the other side and it's higher, then you're gonna have to hit the other side again where it was lower to actually even it out. So always start with the higher part of the hairline. Rarely do you have someone that's just like equally balanced on both sides, but it does happen. Now I'm gonna begin my blend. I got the lever all the way closed and I'm gonna take my next guideline up quite a bit as you can see. And this is why I started the fade pretty low because I wanna give myself this space to actually you know, start my blend real tight and then follow back with this trimmer to remove that guideline. But when I do this, when I give myself that extra space, I know I could get off to a great start with a tight blend, you know, slightly open the lever a little bit and then I'll take my blend up a little more. Another slight adjustment, taking it up a little more. These blends are pretty easy to do once you, you know, got your technique down. As you can see, I opened my lever up all the way now and I'm taking it up some more. And then since I'm doing like a mid-high fade, like, you know, about this point is like where I would want it without a guard on the blade, right? So this is the length I want it. And now, you know, I can throw my guards on, lever all the way open. It's a one eighth and I can blend it into the top. And you can just see how it comes together and that blend looks uh, clean transition tight at the bottom and really makes it pop. Now I got a one fourth guard on and I'm gonna just make sure I get that all the way smoothed into the top waves. So lever all the way open, bring it up against the grain and just smooth that out, remove any bulk, any dark spots. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Lever all the way closed, made sure I gave myself space to bring this up on the second guideline I'm creating. First guideline with the clippers, of course. I would say skin fades are my favorite cut, especially when it's like dark on the top. Um, for multiple reasons, right? Because one, it's a quick cut. They always look good. You know, I've kind of mastered my technique, right? So, you know, it's automatic for me. And I love fades. I love doing skin fades. Uh, probably my favorite cut to do. There's a lot of fade work going on, right? It's faded all the way around. so you can really make it look nice. You know, you can really blend it out, make a nice transition and the results, you know, really stand out. So we want to make sure to blend it all the way over in the back so that one half of the fade can meet the other half and actually blend cleanly into it. So you actually want to go into that opposite side 
of the fade with the clipper and actually cut into that so that you can just smoothly like blend that into the other side and it can have a nice transition. You see I'm going against the grain, lever all the way open. You can see this side of his hair grows forward quite a bit. So you wanna make sure to follow that and go against the grain to make save yourself time too. You know, if you're going straight up as if it was the same on the other side, you, you know, it's gonna take longer to get that blend the way you want it because the hair is not gonna be trimmed properly. So you wanna go against the grain as the hair changes positions in the way that it grows. As you can see right here, it does in the front. Now we're doing some slicing work, tilting the blade a little bit, just using the edges to get out any dark spots, fine tune my blend, making sure it's a clean blend into the top, clean transition. Now we're gonna hit him with the razor, pulling the skin slightly. Now we're gonna enhance the cut. I got the Rich Barber Enhance Hold Spray. A few sprays over the hairline. Now I got the clear application card and the application pump with the fibers. And we're gonna use dark brown on him. You can see his hair is more on the brown side than it is the black. A little bit goes a long way. You don't gotta overdo it. Follow up with the trimmer over the hairline to make the fibers pop. I always give hair fibers complimentary to all my clients. Uh, most of them want it and uh, like it. You know, every once in a while, someone probably doesn't prefer it. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's something that, you know, the client likes, something that allows me to enjoy my craft even more. And it's something that makes my haircuts pop a little harder. And uh, yeah, so, you know, it's definitely something I, I use with almost every cut. Getting his stash, tighten up a little bit. You see that, that cut though, you can see the blend, you can see the darkness on top, you see the transition. It's nothing like a fresh fade. <laughs> like, it's nothing like a fresh fade. Oh, check it out, bro. Oh yeah, see Christian. How you recommend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Tell you what happened. You too. What's up? Chuka the Barber here. I want to thank all y'all that's been rocking with me since day one. Currently at 197,000 subscribers. Trying to push that thing all the way up to 200. So like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I got videos dropping every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from now on. So come tap in, rock with me. We're gonna take it to a whole nother level. I'm out. Peace.